Oh wow, you mean I actually get to hear you? Damn. Damn. <laughs> no holding back. Like, like that's that's definitely what everyone in Fight Night wants to hear. That's right, buddy. That's right, buddy. You suck. First thing. Damn. You ain't holding. Oh uh, no, I don't. I don't have time for defense like that. So uh, defense just isn't in everyone's cards. And as far as I'm concerned, if my defense is the greatest offense, like a uh, high uh, power, like my power, then fuck it, I'm cool with that. Yeah, I'm just messing around with the double dodge right now. Because I didn't know how long you were going to be, so I was just messing around with it. So. Let me go to. Um. Yeah, here. Um, let's see. So. Alright, decode as soon as it loads. It's 100. 5 2 0. I, I know, when I seen that come, went well. Oh. I mean, I'm cool with that one. So before we officially start fight night, because it's just the, the two of us today, do you want to do standard rules or do you want to go and push first to five? You want to go first to five, all right. Put a little bit of hustle behind this muscle. That's fair enough. You know, I think I'll, I'll get a little cocky to start. I mean, I've been on a pretty good streak. I, I mean, sure, my arm's a little uh, lazy and I'm tired today. Like, it is like 90 out today, like 90 degrees outside. I walked home in that shit and then like, right when I get home, my mom's like, yeah, do you mind doing me a favor? And I started digging for her. Like a two foot hole. Because, uh, unfortunately a pet died. And so I was having to dig a hole for it. And so I'm like, shit. And that's after my shift at work. And I've been busting ass. And then on Tuesday, I got into a fist fight. Oh, man. It was one-sided. Uh, let me tell you. There's only two visible things people has been a was able to go and notice. My glasses were broken. Just slightly bit. Like the framing, like one of the screws in it got knocked out. Because it got stepped on. And so you could slightly see it uh, hanging off a little bit. Which I had that immediately repaired. And then on my hand, there's uh, small teeth marks from where the guy bit me. Otherwise, and it was, it was so faint. That it's so small, so faint that it... People didn't even notice it was there. And I'm like... I'm like, I was going easy on the guy. Oh, no, when he bit me, I'm like... Bitch. Like, it was, it was so pathetically weak. I'm thinking, you're about 75 to 100 more than I am. At least, for weight-wise. How are you not putting up more of a fight? Hold on, I'm gonna... Turn away so I could grab my ear or my phone. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to force touch gloves. But no, I'm thinking, how how in the world do you weigh almost a hundred more than I do? And give me, 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 give me and still lose that fight. You were like technically weight class wise, he should have won. Should have. He should have had more power and all that stuff, but he, like, I was being nice enough. Like, I had him in a chokehold. Like, I had my arms put, and he, it was just that. And he could not break out of it. Think of it like this. I got a very slim fatigue. Scraps is a very good example of my physique. Scraps or uh, Vic, you know, the gambler guy with the jeans? That, that's a good way to put my physique. I'm a little more bulked up in the uh, chest and stuff than they are 
because of uh, working out, the gym advantage, stuff like that. But arm-wise, I would say this is a very fair assessment of my body type. Compared to a guy like uh, Conlon, who's like a little bigger than Conlon. A little chubbier, but yeah. Just more fat. And I'm thinking, how, how, how did you not break out of a headlock like that? Dude was uh, turning color. It was sad. And then he's over there. And I'm when I finally uh, break off, my hands are in the air. And I'm just waiting. I'm just right there waiting. I was letting him get his breath to stand up. Because if he stood up, it would have been a solid... Uh, I would have given him a right, a right hook. And I'm a powerhouse left hand. I'm a southpaw. It, would, it was disgraceful. He should have known better. I mean, I haven't dominated a fight night for over almost, or it's for about seven and a half months already. I haven't dominated y'all for nothing. I mean, it's been so, it's been so dominant. My reign has been so unmatched that I don't need to fight every week and still say I'm undisputed because I've beaten y'all so many times and most of y'all don't hop on to train up. Because y'all ain't got as much time on your hands as you would like. Because, I mean, real life is real life. And real life matters more. But, oh, are we getting any, are we getting in each other's face? Oh, I see. Oh, oh, okay. I see. I see what we're doing here. But, I mean... So, you think you're going to be the one to put the one and the one who has the 21? Oh, we'll see about that. If Spartan couldn't put me down... We went twice over the weekend. Like, we went twice since he's upgraded. The first time was close, but... Oh, shit. Oh, damn. A little bit of Chevy coming out. Okay. So, uh, do you got a quick question? Do you watch WWE? Anymore? You know Roman Reigns. Consider me Roman Reigns. The only difference. You'll be Cody Rhodes, WrestleMania 39. Oh my goodness, that might be it. Maybe I talk a little soon. You, you know what's funny is I'm surprised you haven't put my uh, combo together yet. I've been hitting you with the same exact combo. I told, I've been using the same Three, combo. I'm surprised you haven't put it together four, yet. Like you haven't started uh, putting the hands to the right spots. Uh, oh damn! Oh. Oh. You know what I'm going for? I call it the win. You gotta admit, that's the classiest ha uh, trash talk I've heard. You see, you suffered uh, one small problem. Spartan came back, and after I fought with Spartan, I've... I remembered what it's like to be in a fight. I remembered exactly what it's like to fight a champ. If Spartan never came back, I think... That match would have ended differently. Although I will give you credit. Coming out of left field like that, Russian, I definitely will give credit. That was smart. 
However, there's one small problem, and I'll point it out so you could learn from it. When you dashed to me, your hands were far too back, and you dashed. You, you, you. you when you dashed forward, you were right there, right on top of me. I'm like, <laughs> you know what I mean. But that was a good. That was a good uh, decision call. It just. So remember, like I've tried uh, teaching uh, King. He's got a lot of potential. He's just got to learn how to use it. I try to teach him to learn to move without moving his arms for that. Once he can move without him. It becomes something else. Like, right now I'm stuck in this damn box. But, I mean, once you learn to move without having to move your arms, or necessarily your head in an obvious manner, it is a deadly thing to learn. So, when you're ready, let me... If you're, yeah, you're there, you're definitely there. Oh, you taking time. You taking time to get up. Sometimes that's like the smartest things. I'm thinking, don't tell me. I'm like, did he glitch? I'm like, no, he's being smart about this. Looks like he's going for the knockout. showing some great technique with that blow. Very nice. Very nice. I forgot you had temper. Cancels out my extra health when uh, we even out like that. The problem though is when you go and run out of stamina, it makes it easier to get knocked out. Especially by the end of the round, the lower your stamina. Hell no. One, <laughs> but like I said, three, whenever you're out of stamina, especially four, at the end of a round with a knockout, five, if let's say, like, six. when you knock me out, right? You were low on stamina, correct? From where you uh, tapped me down. When I rushed up, the stamina you had carried over to this round. Thus taking and uh, putting you down some since you never had time to recharge it fully. Balboa delivering an absolutely devastating blow to his opponent. That knocked him around. Oh, I'm so I'm so glad I moved my hand to the side because it almost looked like a dick punch for a moment. I was about to be like, "Oops." No, no, you good. Like I said, boys, consider me the Roman Reigns of Creed. Like, uh, so when he, he, uh, said he'll be back for those who did not catch it. But, as far as I'm concerned, this is the best first to five. Not best three out of five. Because otherwise he'd be in massive trouble right now in the match. But right now he's still got plenty of lead way. We still got at least three more fights to go. And it's definitely any man's game right now. You good. My current status would be uh, two to zero. I was about to say three to zero, and I'm like, I haven't, don't jump the gun quite yet.
I told you. I'm the Roman Reigns of Creed. I will have everyone acknowledge me. I'm gonna get fucking sued for using that shit. Watch. <laughs> Look, Reigns is hands down one of the best champions I've seen. Especially as a bad guy. I think... If it wasn't for the fact he went against my boy and he was my boy's enemy, I would definitely say he's one of the best. But because, you know, I'm, I'm going to root for my boy at all times, I mean, that's how we'd be rolling. I must break you. I will kill you. Oh, we got a, a newcomer. Whoa, they are coming out What's up, Andy? Or, not Andy. Anthony. How's it going? I heard about your, uh, your fight with King. <laughs> Drago comes in with a solid punch. Shoot. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Damn. He's looking to change his story. Oh, man. Uh... Like I said, I'll kill you. What a hit, Drago. He's a complete powerhouse. Oh yeah. I completely forgot that the quest had a group chat, but we're uh, fight nighting right now. I after I, I after I beat this Jabrona's ass, I'll, I'll I'll take you on too. Oh yeah, it's cause I'm the champ, he acknowledged me. He knows what the- Drago, really showing off his power with that I need to stop, I've been playing too much 2k, I really have. <laughs> I was playing WWE 2 out of 24. Well, you see, I, I, ain't, I ain't no deity, but I'm a deity killer. Drago, showing some great technique with that blow. One, two. I will give credit. This is this has been a fun fight night so far. You have definitely. I, I've got a smile on my face. Usually, I don't smile during my fights because I find them boring. Oh. oh, he got me good, he got me good. Yeah, maybe he might come back. He might finally get the one on his board. But yeah, this uh, fight night's going to be running a little differently now that uh, Anthony comes in. Because after I go and retain, I'll go and uh, give him a shot at the belt too. Draw game, draw game so far. It's knocked down 3-3 three, three right now. Four. 50-50. Oh. I am, I still have more points, shut up. Two to one so far, he may be coming, uh, making a comeback now. He might get that adrenaline going. You know what? I'm gonna try it again. I don't care. I'll try this again. I'm just gonna change color. Hell yeah, we're running this back. I'm gonna get a win with my boy. Oh, we, oh, we're pulling a almost an exact rematch. Almost. I gotta change color. I, I, I change colors because I hate wearing the same thing all the time. Like he's going for the knockout. I ain't going for speed right now. I'm punishing. How are we going to take your corner? You good? You good? Do you need to step back? 
Okay, remember, Fight Night rules dictate if any injury incur, you know. No title is worth your health. You see, that's why I have like a little section in front of me that's completely clear. Oh, oh, I got. They made an opportunity. Oh, we gained some time. Oh. You're the champ, you're the champ. I see, I see how this runs. One, you know, you know what, I'm a... Two, three, Undertaker that shit too. You know, I plan on it, I plan on it, I plan on it. <laughs> oh, you like me over here? Well, I'm going right here. I don't care what you like. I like having gold around my waist. I'll do... Oh, yeah. You know, I normally, you know I don't hit in that corner. You know, I'm... I only acknowledge it when my opponent tells me it's good or until you get out of that corner. <laughs> Bitch, you're tough. Man, you look, you know, you have tough working for you and I'm strong and you still took 103. You know, good defense. We tied in defense that time. That was good. All right, three to one. I'm only getting started. You know, I started, I, I might start using Nesmore because I said, yeah, this guy. There it goes. It's about to say that was the wrong color scheme. <laughs> Are we getting a Spirino up in here? Well, just like Spirino, you're going to go down like a little bitch. Oh, oh. I'll sh I'll, I have more. I have more muscle than you do. I don't need to show off my muscles. Yeah. Wheeler, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with taking a. I'm cool with taking requests. It proves more of a chance when I beat your ass with them. I will admit, this is actually a pretty dope fit. I'm not even gonna lie, this is a dope fit. <laughs> when I see the glo like the whole jacket and ensemble, it's... Something I'm going to point out as well, so you can kind of uh, work around this. During your fight stance, I, I mean, you're very up close and personal. And I I'll get in your face too right now. But something you got to remember is arm length does matter here. And I'm definitely using that to my advantage. Because, uh, here, put your arm out as far as it can. Just hold it out. Notice how you don't touch? Keep that in mind. Use that to your advantage. When you're ready, ring the bell. 
Uh, no, no, I mean, just, just do it like Apollo did. Just ding, ding, when you're ready. Oh, uh, well. Or you could just approach me. One of the two works. I don't care. Oh, uh, you know what? That works, actually. That works a lot better. <laughs> you know, I was, about, I was about to drop some words that's not exactly uh, Fight Night friendly. I mean, you forgot the don't, but... I'm not getting political on screen. But, need I remind you that that's actually an organization, not just a movement? And I don't agree with the, uh, the movement. That's why I always say they don't. It's not because I dislike black lives. I mean, one of my good friends is black. I call them the N-word to his face. Yeah, you better bet your ass I did too. He called me a cracker in his game. Oh yeah. Hell yeah, that's because I punch so fast the game going. The game can't even slow down for me. I got your bet. I'm pretty- I'm pretty sure I have. I'm pretty sure that when you first came into Fight Night, uh, somebody made- Cause you were definitely playing as Willy when we first started, cause you were definitely a lot more defensive. And then, uh, I think somebody said something about it and I pulled them out, making a point. A hard punch from Wheeler. <laughs> you- 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 you wanna stand and bang? I'll stand right here. Don't mind the controller drift though. <laughs> That was the dumbest request you made. I'm not even going. That is the stupidest thing you could. Again, again, that's the stupidest thing you could have asked. Was. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> Remember, boy. Remember, boy, I hold the record, the world record, for flurry punching. I'm the quickest. Check the leaderboard. Hell. A solid hit by Wheeler. One. Two, three, and just strong. Four. I ain't sitting down. I ain't sitting down. There it goes. One, two. I'm gonna laugh if you hit less than what you thought. Probably about 35. When it comes. That, that was a good go, I'll give you. That was definitely fun. Good job, man, but... I'll kick your ass again. <laughs> but you want me to play Wheeler, Wheeler again? I'll do it. Very, I'll bet. I'll give it credit. The best... Oh, shit. Mr. OP, you know, I'm surprised nobody's tried pulling Victor out during fight night. He's very much legal to be using, besides like special map t uh, match types like the gauntlet match, where he's not allowed in game for anybody, because of that unfair uh, stat advantage. Just him. Just him. Just not Victor, because his stats are just too strong. And, it, it, like, even, like, Chevy, Spartan, everyone has acknowledged he is OP as shit. Yeah, he good, uh, you good, bro. Yeah, he was... It was always Clubber Lang who fought him. 
because of how immensely OP those two are. If one chose Clubber Lang, it wasn't guaranteed that uh, Victor would come out, but... Oh man, Victor was definitely a pain in the ass, and everyone knew it. When you're ready. When you're ready, alright. Sure took that off. Would have made it easier. Sure took that damn sweatshirt off. You lucky I don't take that hood and pop it over your face. One, two. Now you got cocky working or uh temper working for you now, boy. There it goes. Close enough to one punch. Yeah, but you think I'll let you do it? When you get cocky, yeah, I heard your whole comment. One, two, Whoa, when? Three, From where I'm standing, I see nothing but a body on the canvas. You, on the other hand, you get to tell me exactly how many pixels are on that canvas. Start counting, boy. How many One, pixels are down there? Two, three, Remember, your, your stamina four, also plays a part in that. Five, That's why I don't like, uh, especially since uh, you generally hit during stagger. That's why I usually... I try not to, but because you're a great threat and a good fighter, I'll give you credit. But like I said, dealing with... After dealing with Spartan, after dealing with Spartan, it was something else. I mean, I know lean and shit like that. Like, these stats have been 50-50, questionable, unquestionable, you know. But as far as I'm concerned, I average about 80. You probably would have got me knocked out, uh, like, two times in a row, if I'm honest. Like, once you got up there, like, 10 hits would have been it later in the fight, but... I mean, that that was a good showmanship. There's no doubt that was impressive, but... I mean, your entire set of seven. Seven fights is still pretty impressive. Most people would have been gassed by, uh, sooner. I am, like I said, it's 90 outside. Uh, I live on the east side of the states. Yeah. Like, I'm being vague about it because we're live and, like, you know. As a Shadow Ninja could kiss my shiny metal ass. No, it, it's uh, about 90 outside. I don't know about the real feel, but... I don't think it's that hot, but it probably feels like it. Well, I know, I know people go and uh, mistake the real feel for the real temperature, and that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh damn! You just chilling, aren't you? Nah, I mean, the heat don't. Like, the heat, I've learned to adjust to it and not get bothered by it. Because, you gotta remember, my workout, like, some of the reason why I'm champ is not just because I'm really good at the game, but because my workout stems outside of Creed. The training I do is not just limited to what I do in Creed. To get my endurance up, I will go outside and I'm running for, like, miles before I, uh come back so I'm constantly working on endurance uh, like uh, resistance to like the heat the cold all that and I'm constantly working and that's not to mention uh, when I'm hitting up the actual gym and I'm tearing it up and uh, lifting and uh, working out there and stuff like that 
when you're ready, uh, Andy, or what is your tag so I don't keep calling you Andy? It is Anthony. Never mind. Oh yeah, that's definitely a lot cooler than what it is for me. <laughs> when you're ready to fight, let me know. So, that could be up to you. I gave um, Code the option because it was just originally me and him. We chose to go best f uh, first to five. Now, usually with fight night, let me explain the rules. Since this is your first fight night, it, I'm, I usually explain uh, the rules, but since me and Code, like I do it during uh, video anyways, so that uh, new viewers always know what the rules are. Not to mention if somebody forgets things, it happens all the time. But the rules to fight night is usually it's tournament style. First to best two out of three until you hit the last two players. Last two players go best three out of five. Do you need me to whip your ass three more times? <laughs> bra bra so Bro, bro, I got another. He's on another level right now. He's uh, motivated today. He's really trying to put the one in the twenty-one. He's trying today. But uh, pretty much, with how basic rules go, is um, uh, it's tournament style. In a three-man, uh, like in this case, if you uh, arrived a little sooner, and we didn't go through the set like we did, usually the rules would be uh, first to two. Uh, since code lost, he would technically have to fight you. And, uh, if, and if, like, cause it's, uh, like a redemption fight. If he didn't want to redeem himself, you would immediately go to the finals. But, uh, pretty much it comes down to this. During the actual fight night, any style, any method, anything goes. However, there are still, uh, rules. Like, we don't discriminate on how you fight. Like, flurry punchers are allowed. I mean, te no, te technically, yes, it, it's, technically in the Discord we have, the rules state that it is allowed, although it's just shunned upon, and we, and we request not to do it, but yes, if you want to. But, however, oh, you'll get trapped, if you, if someone notices you start doing it, we'll, we'll go, we'll go Super Saiyan level and whip your ass for it. Best two out of, or best three out of five, first to five. You want best three out of five. Fair enough. I mean for your first for your first fight night is a fair it's a fair. Oh fun. Yeah no, I, I don't blame you. Plus, I mean trying to push it. Like some of the things is some of the rules we have is um I'm pretty sure when you came in, I th I'm not sure if it was when you came in or before you came in, but Koda, I think, hurt himself just a little bit. Once that happens, when you get hurt during fight night, let's say you accidentally smack your hand with the controller or you punch something, rules dictate you must back the f off. If you don't back off, you are disqualified. Safety is the number one thing in fight night. Because the idea is to have fun while fighting the best of the best. That is the whole point of Fight Night. So if you're bleeding, of course you're not going to be worried about the game. Of course you're going to lose. But on the flip side, the player who got hurt, they only have so much time to go on a uh, recover before uh, they're, if they take too long, it would be deemed that they cannot participate no more, that the injury is too much. Or if you get hurt like two, three times in a single Fight Night, you will also be thrown out of the game. Due to... Yeah, and that's just for, and that that's just for our safety. If you come into fight night hurt, already like uh, like if you came in, like I've done this before where I've hurt my foot, and I would have to stand on that to fight. And when I do that, that's not in those rules. If you come in already hurt, that's on you. If your headset's having problems, any technological errors, problems, that's on you. You knew about this before coming in. 
so anything will go during that time. It's just depend on who you're fighting. They'll be a good sport to try to work with your uh, equipment to keep things there. But otherwise, anyone gets hurt, you back off. The first uh, best pl uh, the player to hit uh, three out of five first wins the thing between the two of us. Pretty simple rules. Anything goes otherwise. It means no difference to me. I don't mind either way. Alright, bet. Yeah, whenever you're ready. 7-0. 8-4. Oh, yeah, Rexy, I, don't, I still don't know what. He asked if I was on if I wanted to fight, but... If I'm honest, after the events that came down uh, last fight night, I mean, right now is just, right now you guys are my focus. He left fight night altogether. He left uh, every chat we had, every form of communication we had for the group chat. So, I mean, he's he's the least of my, uh, of my worries right now. I'm just letting him get his shit together and let him get there from there. But oh, did you? How good? How 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 how? Like best three out of five, or okay, okay, okay. How well? How well did it pull? Three to one. Sorry, you whipped it. I told you the guy. He's not bad. He's not bad. But he's not. He's not on our level. When you fight Spartan, when you fight Chevy, when you fight Wolfpack, when you fight those guys, that's how you know you got yourself an opponent. <laughs> Good luck, man. Good luck, man. I depend. Okay, so I will. I will let you know before we even get into this. How you fight me will depend on how I fight you. So if you're going to flurry punch, I'm cool with that. If you hit me during stagger, I will eventually start saying fuck you and I'm going to hit you during stagger. If you don't hit me in stagger and you try backing off, I try to back off. That's the type of thing I'll do. I try not to go too hard on people. I don't want to make you be like, fuck fight night again. No, I don't want to break you before you come in. You're, you're an OG. <laughs> you're an original player. Of course I'm going to say fuck you. Alright, when are you ready? A perfect hit from scraps. <laughs> scraps showing some great technique with that blow. Oh, that's that's some good work. When you go for the body, don't just uh don't duck when you go up to the body. Cause when you ducked, I knew you were coming for the body and I quickly moved my hand down at a fair pace. When you duck, it lets your opponent know your intentions. When you see me going for the body, instead of seeing me react, you'll see my arm go down in a manner that works. Like, with how I fight, when I throw uh, certain shots, you'll see my arm kind of curve. This is just how I do it. You don't have to follow the way I fight. You can't follow the way I fight. I'm 21. You're like, what, 13? My point. You can't fight like me. You ain't the, as tall. You ain't got the... You and I are built differently right now, so you can't copy my style. I'm just saying, when you're fi uh, going for the body, don't duck. That makes it obvious, and you're giving me clear view of what I want to hit. So keep that in mind. When you're ready. Oh, hell yeah. That's the whole reason why we record Fight Night, if you recall. Is so that y'all could re-watch it later. The whole point of Fight Night and recording it is not just for the views and to get more people in. It's so that people can learn based on the results of uh, things and kind of study. That's how I, uh, like, when I was fighting you that first round. You're doing, you're, you're, doing, you're doing good. You're doing good. You're just... Oh, yeah. Make sure you have adequate lighting in your room as well so that it uh, catches your motion good enough. 
Yeah, I, I, I make sure to go and keep people aware, especially our younger members. <sighs> You're gonna head out? He, he, he's gonna be studying. Like I said, usually fight night since uh, we uh, started it. I usually I post them in, in the Friday and Saturday night. So. Oh, we're Chevy. Oh man, I, I, I love doing that. You know, I actually went and uh, looked for the my original fight night, my first fight night, and I watched myself and I'm like, damn, I sucked. Back then, I watched myself and I was roasting it. Nicely done, very nice. <laughs> like, like during my fight night, you could back then you could hear me. <sighs> now, now when I throw heavy hands, you might hear a. <sighs> That's it. You don't even hear me uh, doing that very much anymore. But no, I mean, in time, if y'all ever message me, I'll be more than happy to train y'all and teach y'all. I'll be more than happy. It's just if I don't see a message or anything like that, I generally don't think you guys are uh, fighting, and I just think you guys are busy. Especially uh, with uh, our younger players. So, blocking is not against the rules. You can block. Some of the blocks I use. Left, right. Yeah. Remember, so blocking is elbow to glove. Use that to your advantage. So if you want a double hand, like, you might see where I'm keeping both hands up to block like this. Some people block like that. I've seen... I don't, I don't get that one. I don't. One of my preferred blocking stances is where I will... My blocking stance is usually that. If you're good enough, because what this does is, uh, this will cover your body, and then this covers most of your, uh, face and your bo upper body. The only problem is, is right here is wide open. So usually I like swapping and just make a habit or throw a few punches, and then the hand that is last out will be the hand that's coming up. Just keep that in mind when you're ready. Oh, shit. Oh, well, that works. I mean, I like teaching y'all just to be safe, because... Like the, pro uh, the problem, like, one of the biggest things, especially as champ, is I know how much uh, work I have on me, and I'll give it that. Some of the reason why I'm teaching y'all is because I know you guys have the potential to be just as good as I am, if not better. <laughs> Very good. Very good stagger. That was a very nice uh, stagger. I'm not even gonna lie, that hit me good. Grant, I'm also slowing down for you. Like, I'm definitely holding back. Because I want you to learn. I want you to get into the game, and I want you to kind of get a feel for how things work. I ain't gonna go easy, easy on you, but I'm definitely slowing down, and I'm... I'm purposely going at a snail's pace. Not out of disrespect for you, but because I just fought seven fights with him. Well, eight with you now. And so you gotta learn to pace yourself too. That's why you see me throwing slow combos. Very nice. That was very good. Although it didn't connect anything, that was a very good idea. That block you did... You seen I went for the body and then it looked like I was going again and you put that up. That was very good, very good. Del Rosario catches his opponent with a clean shot. So you are not limited down to just uh You're not just limited down to straight. Widen your uh field of vision for attacks and don't just try to throw direct punches in front of you. Like, how? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Oh, a combo. That's just... You wanna know where that comes from? You wanna know where that combo comes from? The dummy. You know that mini game? That's where it comes from. Some of the combos you see me use are from playing those mini games. 
something I'm gonna point out here. Uh, where where's your feet at? Like take your hands, like bend your knees a little bit. Take your hands, put your hands on your knees. Like uh, make sure this, so both your both your knees are in front of you. So you're you're standing parallel like this, but with your legs a little spread apart. My, you're just standing straight. All right. May I uh, take and give a suggestion? This won't work, guaranteed. But take. Right foot a little bit in the back. I was just about to say, because my left foot is in the front. My right foot is bent. Like, my feet are exact. My knees are exactly as my uh, hands are. So my knees in front, my legs on the side. This allows me to... Uh, throw uh, better punches this also allows me to uh throw in that hook because if you were just standing toe to toe with both knees shoulder width and just throwing them like that throwing a hook slows you down and it don't work compared to if you have an official stance like a like i usually do with my knees like that this allows you to throw and it allows you to move a little bit and work out that hook and kind of keeps uh, the momentum going a combo. Uh, okay, so uh, this is what I do. I'm gonna pow, pow, pow. So this is a. This is one of my combos. This is one of my unique combos that I sp specifically use. This is not something that a lot of people do. This is probably shunned upon. But my right hand. One, two, three. I'm putting both hands in one area because a lot of fighters in game here, here. think of it like this one or it's one two like see my head aim at my head but miss intentionally miss my head punch right on the side of my head but don't connect and try to use your other arm first use your other arm your goal is no 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 Use your other arm, so watch this. It's one. So my right leg is in back, right? I'm gonna go off on my, uh, the, like my toes. When I throw my punch, I'm going to twist my body a little bit, one. The idea is not to go and have that punch. Like, when I'm throwing punches, I'm not gonna go one, two. You could do that, but how I'm doing it, it takes your, that opposite arm, son of a bitch. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give there it goes. Hand, tra hand tracking. Activate it over controllers. What I'm doing is I'm taking the opposite arm. Like my left arm is going for your right side of the face. Use the left, right, right, right. You see what I'm saying? So your left arm goes to the right. Your right arm goes to the right. That's what you want to aim for. So don't use your left arm to the left side. Use your left arm and throw it to my right. So... Pretty much take your arm and pop it to the other side. So it, it'll look something like this. Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get in front of you. It's going to go one, two. Is what it's supposed to look like. So when you're looking at it, it's one, two. You see what I'm saying? Both hands are supposed to go on. If you're using your left hand, I should see both hands coming this way. So it should go one, two. So try that. This is one of my special combos. Oh, well. Here, we could... Let, let's finish up the round. And then I'll go and show you when we are not on the bell. Alright? I'll probably disable rounds to, uh... Do not be afraid to double throw one hand. You can do it. What's your dominant hand? You're right handed? Yeah. So take your right hand when you do that and throw to my left side. So cross your arm when you do that. Because I'm left handed and I don't usually block with my left hand. So like most people, their dominant hand is the punching hand. And it leaves that side wide open. I learned to use both hands to fight so it's not going to work on me. But 
Keep that in mind. Most people are right-handed. You can punch to the left side and get away with it. When you're ready. Very nice, very nice, very nice. It'll definitely take some time to get some of your combos down. Like I said, you and I are built differently. Like, our dominant hand alone tells you we cannot fight the same. No, pulling that punch. Very nice. You don't want to die. Holy shit. What's up? Okay, let, let's finish the round first and then and then let's do that. So we don't get put into a split decision. Oh, gotta hurt. <laughs> That's a split decision right there. Three, four. Oh. Okay. Here, let's do the car. What the fuck? Hold the fuck up. Hold on. What the hell is this? What the fuck is. Oh, because you knocked me. Oh, they're going off the knockdowns. I didn't notice I was knocked down three times already. I thought it had. Uh, it was 3 3 knockdown. That explains. I was looking at it. I'm like, I've delivered more punches, more blocks. I staggered more than I seen the knockdowns on my Oh that's where it went wrong. Okay. <laughs> that works. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. D depends on the user actually. That is wholeheartedly my answer. That like so let let's put it in a uh, retrospect. Um what what type of weight class are you in? Are you a slim guy? Are you a bigger guy? Or are you about average? What, let's ask that. Slim guy? So yes. Because my guess is you have endurance. You have the energy to throw out a lot more punches. If you were a bigger guy, like in the case like Scraps, right? I teach people this all the time. Scraps is a skinny guy, right? Have you ever wondered why a lot of people, like, a lot of people talk shit about this? But whenever somebody who's good at him knows what he's doing, he could actually be pretty good. He's skinny, but he's got the, uh, reduced stamina loss. That's because he could throw extra punches because he's skinnier. Sure, he's weaker, but the uh, general idea of it goes like this. Well, no, he, he just, uh, his thing is temper. He deals more damage. He is sprinting, yeah. And that's because he's got the endurance, but he's not a really big guy. Compared to Apollo Creed, who's a bigger guy, Tommy Gunn is a bigger guy. Wheeler, I mean, he, he's, he's built. He's on average. He's in between. He's not over. He's not a big guy like a uh, big guy. He's built like this. But if he, we were talking about this, though, he's bigger in the sense of weight, but he's not got the muscle. He's like uh, average, that's why he ain't got no uh, stamina thing like that. But the general idea is when you're, uh, due to your size, flurry punching can be good. You just got to master your stamina. That's it. If you know how to control it, I'm not punching very quick. I'm purposely holding a lot back because I want to train you. I want you to get better before I lay the smackdown on y'all. Because otherwise, y'all ain't gonna learn nothing if I just go out for the win. If I'm going to 
take and put your head on that wall, you ain't gonna learn nothing. You're just gonna learn defeat. Compared to if I took it slow like that, defeat, I don't care. For the best uh, three out of five, that's one one so far. Because we're taking these fights slow, we're not we're not too worried about it. We're pacing ourselves. But if I was to go first, that I paid for it. Yeah, <laughs> and like that, that. That's how it's done. It's about ten dollars for it. Hell yeah, I, I would, I'll spend like a hundred. I love this game. I, I I love this game. I'll spend more money on it. If they told me that every character that's going to be added is going to be uh, DLC, I'll buy it. I will. I love the game. I bought the deluxe edition. That's why I have the thing. I, I went out of my way to get this stuff. I don't always use these skins like with uh, Apollo. I'll probably use his base attire. I love the base attire. Drago, I'll probably use his uh, yellow gear. I know a lot of people use his black gear, but I love the yellow gear for a reason. For Donnie. Yeah, yeah, a lot of uh, our younger folks like using it. Yep, no, uh, we could we could start the next one if you want. Yeah. No, you good. Like I said, we can start the fight. I'll, I'll acknowledge it. Um. Why do I wear the Apollo or the uh, yellow shorts? It's because uh, it's because Apollo got killed in these shorts. <laughs> That's why. Ah, oh, no worries. Square into his opponent. But no, it comes down to your physical ability di dictates if uh, certain styles work. There is a player, you've heard me say him before you and I start fighting, the name's Spartan. He is one of the best fighters I have ever seen. He just recently upgraded to Quest. You could actually find him. And if you tell him that Retro sent you, oh man, he'll, he'll train, he will work with you, he will, he'll work with you, like, he, he trained me up pretty damn good. But, like, Spartan, his defense is incredible. He's a well-rounded, but he excels in everything. He's pretty much playing as the advanced version of what you are. Um, no, not, I mean, unfortunately, like I said, I'm 21. I got a job, I don't get to play sports no more. Tackle football, that's not bad, but based on that, you gotta make sure to protect your, uh, protect your ribs. Because if you get hurt there, it's, it's a pain. I don't think I've ever heard of that one. Oh no, I, I was... I've generally, I'm not too much of a sports guy. The only reason why I even got into this game is because of Rocky. I love the round, uh, round three, I do believe so. And then uh, round three on our third fight altogether. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. Powerful blow through. So when you are targeting, if you are, like, do I have any bruised up places on me right now? My right, le my left eye? Target that. Use that more, because it's easier to knock out. Somebody put him in stagger. It's easier to win if you get that. Yeah, a lot of people, they just swing, and I'm like, I guarantee you I have a weak point somewhere. You will eventually go and create one and just exploit it. I just want to point that out. Drago catches his opponent with a clean shot. Very nice. One, two. No. With King, I will be dead honest. King is very full of himself. He he fits the uh, Sparino. He's got energy. He got that extra stamina for flurry punching, but he's also cocky. He's. He's, he's very co I'm cocky. I know I'm cocky. Why do you think me and Code were going back and forth throwing, uh, <laughs> throwing stuff at each other? But it's also respect. 
so. But no, for King, he, he don't get it. I haven't fought him in a minute. I mean, it's not like his flurry stance. What if I told you you could easily beat him with a single hand? I'll, I'll show you after we're done and with this round. Pace your stamina. Your character's stamina means shit too. The lower your stamina, the easier it is to stagger and easier it is for not no. You're doing good though, you're doing good. Especially for your level and like your uh, group and stuff, you're doing good. Gain on the job training ain't easy. Oh, shit. Very nice, very nice game. I had a little bit of advantage with my character being strong, but obviously my strength didn't come into play. Alright, that's two to one out of five. This could be the last fight. This could be the uh, next one. Who knows? Um, go with OG. I love the OG shit. Uh, one, if I win one more time, that concludes fight night. If you win, you need to win two more. I need one. You got it. You've got. You have as good of a chance as anybody else. You just got to go and you got to have that look. You got to have that eye. You got to want it. You got to be willing to go and put everything. Where did you come from? I thought they quit putting you in the game. But like you got to want it to go and get it. That's how I originally became champion. Like after... We're done with the set. I, I'll give you a little, uh, when you're ready, when you're ready. Remember, fight night rules. If you, if you hurt yourself, shake it out when you're ready. When you're ready, just come back in the middle of the ring. Fight night rules dictate safety matters more than anything. You don't have to go and square up with, uh, combos like this either. If you like flurry punching, use it. If you, like, I tell people this all the time. Any stance you like, use it. I love, I love it when I find a fighter who knows what they're doing with a certain stance. Oh. Some, like, for a fighter like me, with my knowledge, you can't just, you can't back off as much. You kind of got to pressure me. Apollo drives the heart. That sounded like your parents was in the room like when you want to finish that one. <laughs> Ooh, very nice. Right there, right there. I probably won't hit you in stagger much due to knowledge gap, like the skill gap. So if you want to hit me in stagger, do it. Oh, do it, do it, do it. I don't care, I don't care. Do it. Come on. If you see the advantage, I am a seasoned bench. I'm a leaderboard player. I took the world record for speed run as well as this flurry dummy. Take whatever you got to hit me. Because that's just how it works. Take whatever opportunities you have. Do not hesitate. If I'm in stagger, hit me. If I if I was backing up like I was because I accidentally uh, activated a hand track, hit me. Oh, shit. The only thing I'll ridicule you with is if you were to go and psych out for like a uh, for sportsmanship, like the glove touch, but instead throw a punch. Anything goes, remember. However you wish to fight, works. You good? Oh, yeah. No, you good, you good, trust me. I, I've, I've fought with a lot worse. Oh, well, that works. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Damn. 
I was gonna, I was gonna say something, but I'm on camera. So fight night is recorded every night. Every fight night, it's always recorded. Every time. Yeah, every time. No, 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 don't, 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 don't worry about it. Because that you, you show, you're showing people you have the balls to stand in this ring where I have had dozens of people on uh, PVP on video quit. They go round one, leave. You're the one of the few people who stand in this ring, ballsy enough to fight me, knowing you are outmatched. So, take it with pride. Apollo slams hard because of oh, oh, very nice, very nice. Oh, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. You had my character stand my out. That was the perfect time to attack. Defense is not my forte. It's not my greatest uh, aspect. I'm not bad with it, but I'm much more aggressive in uh, throwing hands. I was always going to be fight night number whatever it is. I think I, I lost track of what fight night is wrong. But it's always called fight night. I always do you have Discord? Yeah, yeah. I, I could uh, send you a link to uh, I'll go and uh, copy the link on uh. And send it to you for on a personal DM, so you could join us. This will allow you to go and see all the world records, like everything. Like it, we I put the energy into uh, really making Fight Night special. Heavy. So you could see like previous Fight Night results, previous Fight Nights themselves. I actually have every leaderboard, although I need to update the leaderboards again. I have everything up there, ready to go. Like the play, uh, PS4 version of the game on a PSVR. I have the uh, leaderboard from OG Creed. Like it, it is. When I say that was a very nice go, that's actually very, very nice, very nice. That was very good. Looking at those scores, that's actually much closer. Cause we hit the, we blocked the same. Stagger wise, I'm pretty good with my combos. Once you improve your combo work, you could actually stagger a lot easier. Cause it's all about how hard, like how good of a hit you get, and then the combo you lay on them staggers your opponent. Oh yeah, you would have probably put me down, but you probably would have put me down. It was definitely going to be coming to a closer, closer bout. That's how it be. This is the true champ. I swear to goodness, I don't care if I'm the, I don't care if I'm walking around with the belt or not. If you have the balls to stand in front of me and you work your ass off, you have good sportsmanship. If you are respectable, I don't care who's the champ. I will always signal you're the winner, despite the fact that I won. It's all about respect. It's all about pushing your limits and becoming the best you can. That's what Fight Night's all about, is pushing. He's like, he's looking at you like, fucking disappointment. <laughs> but no, that, that was... He's like, no, I'm not, I'm not dealing with this. But no, that, that was an impressive Fight Night for sure. Especially with your knowledge of the game and the level gap between the two of us. You're like a level 5 going against a prestige master on Call of Duty. You, you, you definitely had your work cut out for you. But you still at least gave it a shot. So, I mean, that's better than anybody else. So, I will say congratulations. I'm ending the video right here.